I've been running these pictures, and now all of a sudden I gotta be an actor. taxi driver that ever went straight where I told him to. Next time you say that, smile. <laughs> what are you afraid of? Remember, you're a head man here. Say, that's right, I am. Here, Jeeves. Who are you? U.S. Secret Service, 25266. What number? 25266. Holy smoke, I've been drafted. talking about? My little junior! Mommy! Oh, mama! Oh, mommy! Mr. Goyle. Hey, what about that bear? Who was that? What about that bear is what I said? What? You heard me! What are you going to do? Give us a bill? You're just hey, now, wait a minute. You can't give us a bill for riding around just a block like that. that. We've been together taxi taxi cabs all over the country. Do you think we're going to pay that? Give him the words. What's this? Oh! What happened? Pardon me just a moment, folks. Hey, operator. Hey, you up there running this film. I'd like to see that last part over again. Oh, he can't do that. He's working for the theater. The management won't let him do it. What's the matter? Are you crazy or something? He'll do it for us. I got him the job. That's Cousin Louie. Touch every time I see you, I get hot and cold at the same time. Give me your lips when you touch. I will not. Louie! Louie! Rewind the film! <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, come on. Louis! We've been keeping steady company now for two days, haven't we? Hey, Louis! Don't go away. Rewind this film, will you? What's the matter with you guys? Don't you know you can't talk to me and the audience? Well, we're doing it, aren't we? Yes, folks. <laughs> this is hell's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Louis, make it snappy. This is screwy. The actor's out there talking to me up here. <laughs> Okay, Louie. Who is that? Give him the words. Get away! Last chance first, second honeymoon third, Henry the eighth floor, Dan the counter cop, 87 three quarters, down a point. Let me go! I can't stand it! I can't stand it! I can't stand it any longer! You can't stand what? This! <laughs> What's the matter? We can't shoot this kind of stuff. Why not? This is hell's a poppin'. <laughs> Chickens, horses, tic tac toe, pictures are different. You're gonna have a story. Story? <laughs> Crazy, come on. Just a minute, please. Here, Just here. a minute. Pardon me. May I please have your autograph? You know you're my favorite actors. Oscar always takes me to see your pictures. We just adore them. Well, thank you. Who are they? Why, Olson and Johnson. Olson. Olson and Johnson? Oscar! Fellas, we gotta have a story, a love story. Why? Why, I'll tell you why, because we gotta have one, because every picture has one. Hey, just a minute. Oh. Take it easy, bud. Who is he? My bodyguard. Take it easy. Oh. Telephone for Mr. Olson. Hello? Who? The chambermaid. It's for you. Hello? Yeah. That's bad. That's good. That's good. That's bad. Hey. That's good. Hey. That's good. Hey. That's bad. Hey, what are you doing? That one? What are you doing? I'm helping her sort a box of strawberries. Mrs. Jones! Mrs. Jones! Uh, what do you want? I've got to deliver this plant to Mrs. Jones. Mrs. Jones! Look here, my friend. We're making a motion picture here. That's a matter of opinion. Mrs. Jones! Holy chick, Mrs. listen. Jones. We've had a writer working on a love story. Won't you at least talk to him? Come on. You can't tell me you have to have a love story. Would I give you a bump, steer? Oscar! Hey, I've been a director for 15 years and I never did a picture without a story. There never has been a picture without a story. There never will be a picture without a story. Gentlemen, now. gentlemen, may I take your picture? What? May I take your picture? Sure. Go ahead. Oh, thanks! <laughs> Boys, put your careers in the palm of my hand. Oscar! Oscar! Will someone stop that woman from yelling Oscar? Oscar! Will someone please stop that woman from yelling Oscar? Oscar! Thank you. Thank you very much. Boys, I'll mold you into great artists. You don't have to mold us. We're very happy the way we are. Yeah, we think we look fine. Give us a chance and we'll make you the best director. I am the best director. Now, wait a minute. I thought they burnt that. All right, Selby. How about you think? This is Mr. Olson and Mr. Johnson. How are you, Selby? I didn't hear your first name. Uh, what? Uh, well, you've got to speak louder. I can't hear you. Hey! Uh, yes, he's a little weak. The doctor's got him on a soup diet. Soup diet? Yes, he told me to eat three plates a day. Three plates a day? Ha! You ought to be feeling swell. Oscar! Oscar! I'll right back. Joe, Harry, Willie, where are all my assistants around here? Now, look, Selby, you seem like a bright young man. How old are you? 23. 23? Well, that's a patriotic age. Uncle Sam needs young men like you. I presume you're ambitious? Oh, yes. That's fine. What would you like to be? 29. <laughs> Say, fella, how much would you charge to haul a house? How many rooms? OK, boys, OK, no more interruptions. Mrs. Jones! Mrs. Jones! Mrs. Jones! Oscar! Oscar! How much longer do I have to put up with this? Until we finish this picture. How long? Until we finish this picture. Oh, no! Okay, send for another cameraman. All right, boys, grab a couple of chairs and sit down. I'm going to tell you this story if I have to hire people to listen. It's a picture about a picture about Hell's a Poppin. It's a great script. Feel how much it weighs. Listen, buddy. For three years, we did Hell's a Poppin on Broadway, and that's the way we want it on the screen. This is Hollywood. We change everything here. We got to. Why? Why? Listen to the story. It's all about a young fellow named Woody Tyler. That's Woody Tyler. He's very rich. Well, he pays his income tax. Now, Woody's in love with Kitty Rand. 
That's Kitty Rand, also very rich. Well, that solves everything. Ah, that's what everyone thinks. But does she love Woody? No. Right. Great story, mine. Whom does she love? Oscar! Oscar, yes. No! She's in love with your playwright friend, Jeff. That's Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Ollie. Does Jeff love Kitty? Now, our story starts at Kitty Rand's home in Long Island. Come over here, I'll show you a picture of it. Here's a picture of the Rand estate, where our story takes place. Snazzy looking joint, isn't it? There's a long line of limousines. Oh, a funeral, huh? No, no, it's the guests arriving. For the weekend party, Kitty's arranged the Red Cross benefit. That's a nice idea. No, it's a plot to keep Jeff near her. That's why they're putting on a show. Not another picture with a show in it, please. This one's important. Jeff's been trying to sell it to a Broadway producer for months. How can you stage a show right here on the grass? Oh, no, not on the grass. In our big outdoor theater back at the greenhouse. We Rands are disgustingly rich. But why a theater? Oh, I've wanted to be an actress ever since I was knee-high to a footlight. Yes, and she's got a beautiful voice, too. Thanks. You're welcome. Nice looking couple. Why doesn't Jeff marry her? He doesn't want to marry for money. Huh? He isn't giving in to love until he makes good on his own. That's movies. That's crazy. That's movies. Who are they? Clipper McGee and Molly. No, they're Kitty's parents. They know Kitty's kind of stuck on Jeff and they don't like it. They want her to marry Woody. Where is this mug Woody? Let's follow Kitty's parents and find out. Oh, he's not here. Let's look on the terrace. You look on the terrace. We'll stay right here. Ah, there's our man. So you took us away from her to meet him? Hey, Woody, get up. Get up, Woody. Come on, Woody. Get up there. Come on, Woody, get up. Kitty's looking for you. She's on the terrace. You'd better get over there before your pal Jeff steals it away. <laughs> there he goes. Now, see, Kitty wants to get rid of him. She's asking him to take up that suitcase. That's just a stall. Jeff's offering to take it up, huh? Yeah, determined to leave the road clear for his friend Woody. Oh, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Can't you hear us, Jeff? Let the big dope take the suitcase. You're not the butler. You know the girl loves you. Now, don't do she it, wants Jeff. You to don't take the do it. Hey, do. Don't be a fool, Jeff. Jeff. Don't do Jeff. it, Jeff. Jeff. I'm telling you, don't do oh, it. Jeff. Glad to see me, Kitty. What do you think? Now, here comes a guest you may recognize. Prince Peppy. Prince Peppy? That's Misha Hour. He looks like a phony. Right, he is a phony, a chiseler. He hasn't a penny in his pocket. Try the inside pocket. <laughs> they know he's a phony, but they don't mind. They think he's cute. Now, watch this. You see, he's going to flip the driver for it. You know who's going to win. See, what'd I tell you? Why, the cheap four-flusher. What's that load of junk? Those are the properties for Jeff's show. Who are those two silly-looking... Hey, wait a minute. How did we get to Long Island? Now, you're two prop men who live in the same boarding house as Jeff. You're helping him put on the show. Who's driving? You'll find out in a minute, and will you be sorry you asked? Say, isn't there any sound in this picture?